Let's remove this. We're looking at heat. State the law of conservation of heat. Um, go to your notes also on this one. But it's just something as long as you state this to say the law states that when two objects mix they might mix or touch each other if, if they are not liquid they can touch each other if they are solid when two objects touch each other at different temperatures at different temperatures the hot object will transfer heat energy so the hot object will transfer heat energy to the colder object to the colder object it makes sense right until both objects are what are at the same temperature are at the same temperature that's the law of conservation of heat all right i think that's it in general try to use it like that but get your book get your book all right so i'm gonna erase that 7.2 copper with a mess of that we'll need that information that's the mass of copper is heated from this to this using 70 kg coal which is supplied to the furnace calculate the following the change in temperature all right guys this is not pro a problem change in temperature you can see it's 105 minus 15 you know 105 minus 15 what's the answer there okay 105 minus 15 you get what 90 90 degrees that's the change separate the the amount of energy released by coal amount of energy released let's go to this but now we're talking about coal now and we're here now this is where we are playing now we are playing here now heat q means heat so either we use this one mc change in t it works here but we don't have the specific heat capacity of coal we have got actually the heat value of coal so it's m times hv see so that's what you use there to say q is equal to m dot hv meaning heat value for coal the mass of uh say it's using 70 kg of coal so it's 70 times heat value where do you go at the beginning beginning guys where it started and you will see heat value heat value Heat value there, heat value of coal. See, 30 mj per kg. So it's 30 mj. So what is it? You multiply these two numbers, you're going to get 70 times 30, which is 2100. 2100 mj mega joules all right next one is what the amount of heat energy released by coal the amount of heat energy remember conservation gained by copper now what was released by coal was gained by copper that's where now you use q is equal to mc change in t because that's the copper that changed the temperature is it heated from 15 to that so the m is what today is the mass 38,000 so you use for coal is 38,000 times specific heat of coal we find it here also uh, specific heat capacity of coal there it is am I right let me be careful yes I mean of copper specific of copper is 390 joules per kg, per kg degrees it's 390 so that's what we have 390 times 
change in temperature is 90 degrees i think you remember we got the 90 here so you get the answer there for q now what is it is 38 1 to 3 times 390 times 90 which is what hmm, it's too big because we're dealing with you see this is megajoules i must divide by 1 million 1 2 3 that's a thousand 1 2 3 that's a million so what will it give me 1 3 3 133.8 it's 133.8 this is what make a joules also be divided by a million okay then the next question is what the efficiency of the system two marks efficiency again formulas there is the formula for efficiency there efficiency is this one you see this says n that funny sign is output over input times a hundred so you come here to say this is output over input times a hundred percent which is output this is what look look at this the coal supplied this is the supply from coal this is supply and this is what was what caused the change in the copper see so that's why this this supply it becomes the input so we the output was 1333.8 over 2100 it must always be smaller the top number times 100 because you mustn't you cannot get a, a higher percent than 100 so the top number must always be small so which is 133.8 over 2001 times 100 what do you get 63.514 percent. that's the efficiency of this thing it can't be more than 100 all right and then 7.3 describe the difference between specific liquid enthalpy and what okay let me do this specific liquid enthalpy and specific enthalpy of evaporation now evaporation is dealing with from steam to dry steam So let me not use steam. Evaporation is from boiling. It's boiling to dry steam. And then specific liquid enthalpy. This is a change from simple liquid to gas. So what I'm going to call it. I'm not going to write this, but I need you to change uh, to check your answers there. But this one specific liquid enthalpy is the amount of energy needed or heat energy needed to change there is the part one kilogram of water from its liquid state to its boiling point that's the specific enthalpy uh, liquid enthalpy while this enthalpy of evaporation is still the same the amount of heat energy needed to change one kilogram now here you're going to say it's one kilogram of boiling water to dry steam that's the part but i want you to check this please i want you to check this all right so okay done that next one particle structure of matter